Aloha everybody, how are you today? John with you and we're going to continue looking at my Hawaiian record collection today. We're on the letter W. Let's pick up where we left off and see what's in store today. And so today we have uh, really quite a number of uh, what would what we could call easy listening records coming up in the alphabet. Uh, first up today, Paul Whitman or Whiteman and his orchestra. I guess it's Whiteman, but I feel like it's I've heard him called Paul Whitman, but I don't know. Hawaiian Magic. Um, now this is how I originally saw this album. My grandfather had this album and this was the version that he had, although this is not his copy. I've gotten one since. But the record was originally uh, released in 1956 and this is much later. Uh, but I've, I've always kind of, it's interesting, I've liked this cover. Uh, you know, I like the collage sort of effect. Um, it was a little bit interesting that it was black and white and not in color. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, the album itself is just sort of, you know, standard orchestral easy listening music. Nothing really remarkable about it. Uh, what's interesting, though, is I do I have since then uh, gotten the original release of this album in night from 1956, uh, th which is on the same label, Grand Award. This is Grand Award too. It's just the um, later, the later version of it. I should have shown you the songs there too. But it's kind of the standard fare: Hawaiian War Chant on the Beach at Waikiki, blah blah, those standard songs. Uh, Paul Whitman and his orchestra again, Hawaiian Magic. This is kind of a fetching, fetching painting there. Uh, the same album, just uh, Lure of the Islands. They talk a, a, a deal, a great deal about the painting by Don Miller, Lure of the Islands, and that's what's on the cover. And this is Grand Award on the older label. Now, something interesting I discovered later was you had a different uh, version of the same album. Now, this is called Hawaiian Magic. Here we have the same album, Paul Women, Hawaiian Hits, it's called. Um, this one is stereophonic. This one is monaural. Now, that's not unusual at all for somebody to have brought out an album that was stereo and mono. But what's interesting about this one, and I, I don't know the story behind it, is that it is the same album as this, minus two songs. Um, I don't remember which two off the top of my head. Mood of Manakura and maybe Sweet Leilani, I think, are not on the Hawaiian Hits album. And this is the stereo version. They're only on the monaural. I have no idea why that is. And then this one does not talk all about the painting. It talks about phase 10 stereo. So I don't know what the story is, why uh, this one has fewer songs. Than that one, why the stereo has fewer songs than the mono, I don't know. But kind of an interesting thing, and they gave it a different title. I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, next up, this is, I believe, an English, you know, orchestra, as in British. Uh, Moxie Whitney and his orchestra in Hawaii with a very, very almost psychedelic colored uh, cover there. This is on Harmony Records, so it's an American label, um, and they do talk here about how Moxie is, uh, Moxie Whitney has become synonymous with the best in dance music. Each night he holds forth at the Imperial Room of the Royal York. So I'm assuming this is England, English, uh, dance band leader. So this is, uh, I think a little bit of it is instrumental, but mostly it's vocalists, uh, either the chorus or soloists we see here. And geared towards dancing. There's a lot of English albums, although this is an American one, Harmony. I think this has got to be like a reissue. They must have gotten the British album and, and re-released it. A lot of, there are a lot of, uh, as you know, if you know Easy Listening stuff in out of the UK, lots of dance albums. They're into like dancing, so there'll be foxtrots and sambas and 
waltzes and and usually the albums will say you know what tempo each song is whatever and they're designed for people to dance i guess people just danced at home or whatever or had little groups together and would play records and they would dance uh that's kind of what this album is geared towards you can tell by listening to it although i think because it's an american release they don't list all the fox trots and what everything is so i bet if uh, there was an uh, the actual english copy of this which i don't have probably would show it to be more of a dance geared album <coughs> anyway enough about that one uh, okay <laughs> This record is, this cover is so, well, it's called Fabulous, and it is. The Fabulous Steel Guitar Artistry of Little Roy Wiggins. Better known, of course, as a steel, country steel guitar. It's very well known in the country field. And in fact, this record, Star Day, is a uh, record label, is out of uh, Madison, Tennessee, and they do all sorts of uh, country artists and there's a fair amount of uh, information here about the hawaiian steel guitar what i what i love about this record though is the cover right i mean look at this it's like this is awesome obviously taken probably in you know texas or tennessee or wherever wherever this was taken like some sort of brick structure like in somebody's backyard or whatever barbecue i don't know what it is and they have pineapples put up on top and fake palm trees put in back of it and then these two Caucasian ladies in their very fetching little hula outfits love the outfits um, dancing this is a great cover I mean <laughs> Roy Wiggins and his lay and his socks just yeah and I also enjoy this album. It is more country. I mean, it's a Hawaiian style, but not. it is more country steel guitar playing, really. Uh, but many of the uh, songs here on the, the, this album were composed by either Roy Wiggins or some other members of the uh, ensemble. So South Sea Melody, Waikiki, Wiggle, Driftwood, Steel Guitar, Hula, Honolulu Nights, Hilo Had a Shake, Till We Meet Again, all original compositions that are unique to this album, and I, I really enjoy when artists do that. Uh, finally today, another Little Roy Wiggins album. This one is actually, isn't this a fabulous cover, right? Fabulous picture. Tingling. this is uh, an Italian release. The Hawaiian guitar of Roy Wiggins. Arthur Lyman also did an album with this on um, the same picture on the cover, so you will see it here and there. And these are a couple of Hawaiian songs and then a bunch of just country ish or easy listening sort of songs that uh, he does on the Hawaiian guitar. And I think all this material was from other albums um, that they just put together for this Italian release on. Uh, Vedette Records or something like that. I don't know. And now let's... There's a lot of other Roy Wiggins albums out there, but they're not Hawaiian, so these are kind of the only two I've gotten so far that are Hawaiian from him. Uh, let's listen to some samples from some of these records. <laughs>
hope you enjoyed looking at the records today. We'll pick up and uh, listen to some more next time. If you uh, like what you've seen here, please subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you have any of these records or uh, any comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please just leave them in the comment section down below, okay? We'll see you next time. Have a good week.